Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to finish up all the side quests for Far Harbor and make our way over to the Nucleus. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. If you ain't armed, you ain't long for this world. We're gonna go over to the Mariner first. Mariner, please. I heard about this expedition of yours. We need you. Please, turn back. I thought you didn't believe, Captain. Well, the Mainlander does. And together, we're going to put an end to it. Mainlander, if the Red Death's real, we can't afford to lose you both. With all I've seen and faced, this Red Death doesn't scare me. Don't say you haven't been warned. Let's go ahead and hop on our boat. And we're going to go over to the Death Island. Or Red Death Island, I'm sorry. You read me, Mainlander? I plotted a safe course for your boat. Don't tamper with it. The shoals near where we're headed can easily capsize a boat of your size. I'll catch up to you. Not much further, Mainlander. When Auntie Stacy told others of her brush with the Red Death, they laughed at her. Then two weeks after, a full fishing boat never came back. From the beach, they saw the glow on the horizon. I've been looking to end the reign of the Red Death's terror my whole life. Wrecks all around it. There. You see it, right? Meet you there, and get prepared. Can't be. That? That's the Red Death? Looks like you achieved your goal. <laughs> there it is. My whole life, I've been having nightmares about a little Myolurk. <sighs> what do we say to all the folk back home? If we tell them the truth, we'll be a laughing stock. Maybe we embellish a little. Or a lot. Make it the stuff of legends. I have little stomach for it. But it's better than the alternative. Let's go. I thought, I got this for you to celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. This isn't a bad outfit. You just can't put armor over top of it. So it's up to you if you want to use it or not. Let's go ahead and kill the Red Death, this puny Mirelurk. Let's go ahead and head back to Far Harbor.
let's head over to the Mariner and hear the story that she's going to tell everybody. They're here. They're back. Did you find it? Food in front. Did you end the scourge of the back. seas? So, uh, we set sail. It was a terrible fight. So you killed it? Oh, yes, we did at that. It was quite the sight. Did you hear? They did it. The Red Death's no more. Did it take long? My grand figured it would take a mini nuke direct to the center of the eye to do it in. That would have worked, but we may do. The seas are ours again. We can fish in peace. Tell me, are you injured, Mariner? Are you okay? No. We managed to get through unscathed. Oh, thank God. I thought for sure you were sailing to your graves. Here's to the heroes. Got everything you it need. looks like a proper hull now, don't it? Protect your loved ones with my fine hand cannon. Did you really do the captain's dance? I really did. The doctor has said in time, I will fully recover. He says this is your doing, but I do not know you. I was just doing my civic duty. <laughs> you are obviously not from here. Gratitude. It's a hard thing out here. So, yeah. This island. It has taken my husband. It has taken everything. This island is a sickness. Don't you see? It's evil. As soon as I am well, I am going to grab as many guns as I can carry, and I will slaughter everything in my path until the island is clean, or I am no more. You're in pain. Yeah, I've been there. But your plan is unreasonable. Find a purpose, some constructive purpose, to keep you going. You wouldn't know. Once, Far Harbor was, well, not thriving, but alive. I'll think on what you said. Let's go to our pit boy and we're going to go fast travel to Acadia real quick. And scoop up a quest. Let's go downstairs and go talk to Dejin. I need to talk to you. Look. It's no secret that I don't exactly trust outsiders. Anyone. But I need help. The kind of help that stays quiet. I have my own set of contacts. Folks that warn me when things are about to go bad. And they're telling me that Chase screwed up. Something she did the last time she was in the Commonwealth got the Institute's attention. And they're on her trail. There's a courser sniffing around. And it won't be long before he finds Acadia. Can't let that happen. You've proven you can handle yourself. Can you stop him? I'll find him before he finds you. Don't worry. I know this means you putting your life in danger for me. For us. I want you to know that it's not for nothing. Let's go ahead and exit out of Acadia and then we're going to head over to the lumber yard. Open up our pit boy. Come over here. Head over to Echo Lake Lumber. We're gonna have to take out some ghouls. First ghoul is gonna be right here. Sorry, Nick. You're in the way. Your plan. Is that it? There's one more ghoul. Anything useful? All right, 
let's go ahead and go over to the National Park Visitor Center. corpses they're from me unless you're ready for the long walk go away take it easy uncle ken mitch sent me mitch my boy mitch sent you he was always a smart one he sent me the fog condensers made it safe to breathe here glad to hear he still cares about his old uncle but you what what have you done they're coming! They're coming! Then let's work together. Ah, fine. I haven't reset my traps or repaired the defenses. Quick, do what you can with the workbench supplies. They'll be here soon. Get the trophy pushing back the fog. That's for having a couple of settlements. We're going to go into our build or workshop mode, whatever you want to call it. We're going to put up two turrets. One here. And then one right here. That should be plenty. We're just going to have a wave of raiders. Gotta wait for him. He'll be rolling up here any minute now. Look who it is. <laughs> I said raiders, but I meant trappers. They're the same thing. They won't be bothering anybody now. This is my home. <coughs> <coughs> Did good. Shouldn't be any more. I just need to trade gear with you. They'll be here any time now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I killed them all. There's only one wave of them. Damn. I got nothing. Or not. Alright. Usually there's only one wave. But I guess I'm so badass they sent a second wave out. Talk to Uncle Ken. Excuse me. Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send you. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Mitch sent me to bring you home. Safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. This is my home. And what? You want me to huddle like a beggar in Far Harbor? I... I can't just leave. Consider this a vacation. You'll come back later, when it's safe. You are so persistent. Fine. You happy? You've chased me from my home. Ah, I'll pack my things. Okay, so from this area here, facing southwest, we're going to follow this trail. We're going to follow it south 
till we see a bend in the path. Just make sure you stick to the right. Hang a left here. There's the Cliff's Edge Hotel. It's where we solved the murder mystery earlier into the walkthrough for Far Harbor. Coming up to a plane crash. We're going to be meeting a super mutant. He's friendly, so don't shoot him. Hop over this fallen tree and go inside this plane wreck. We'll be taking that. Come on out, stranger. This doesn't have to get messy. All right, that's a start. Now just put your weapon away and I'll do the same. Then we can talk. Good. Just come on down here and we'll talk. I don't know why he's walking over there, but uh, I guess he is. You all right, bud? Let's get him to walk over here. I don't want him to walk off in the middle of conversation. What were you doing up there in my camp? Easy there, big fella. I was just looking around. Oh, I'm plenty calm, considering you invaded my home. Look, I don't really want any trouble. I broke off from the group I came here with a long time ago. I just started seeing things differently when we came to the island. and I couldn't stand how the other super mutants act to humans. I keep to myself up here and train my dogs. Do a bit of trade with people, too. At least those that don't open fire on me. Don't see any reason we can't do the same. Come on up if you'd like. Still managed to walk off in mid-conversation. You guys all right? Yeah, you're good. Sorry about pointing a gun at you earlier. I just get a bit jumpy when a stranger might be killing my dogs. There's probably a bed around if you need a rest. So, why don't you hate humans like the rest of your kind seem to? Started seeing things more clearly when we came here. Who knows? Maybe it's the fog. I just don't see what the point of us all killing each other is. Did you train these dogs? Yeah, as guard dogs. Not all can be trained, though. Most are used to being kicked or shot at. I can only manage a few at a time, though. So unless I find a new home for one of them, I can't really take on any more. 
This is a good way to get a super mutant hound or a wolf if that's a companion or a guard dog you want at your settlement. You can just go to buy a guard dog. Um, if you look at the name of the dog, you can tell which one you're going to buy. Let's go ahead and go to barter. You interested in a trade? Uh, maybe. He sells the butcher's hook. This is a decent weapon. It refills your action points on critical hits. So it's a little niche, but if you're playing a melee build and you want to use it, feel free to buy it. Let's go ahead and go to our pit boy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Far Harbor. We're going to open up our pit boy and put on Hunting the Hunter. Let's go inside the last plank. My boy! He actually did it. Did what? Chase me from my home? We should dump him in the harbor. You're really not grateful? You get to see your boy again. Ah, it is good to see family again. He never visits or writes. Here. I... I... Mitch is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. Let's go ahead and go talk to Small Bertha. We're depending on you. We got nowhere else to go. I cleared the lumber mill for you. We gotta go see the captain. Here's the pay. I don't care if you don't want it. People keep leaving the island. But now that there's land, I'm to call their own. They'll come back. My friends have already sent word. We're going to turn back the tide. You'll see. I say I didn't warn you. With ordinance like that, no wonder you wiped out those crabs. Need general supplies? Visit the bait shop. Mariner says the island's alive, and it's got it in for us. Mariner says the fog's alive. Can Bertha. hear you. Excuse me, ma'am. So mind what you say. We got no time for you. The mainlander cleared out Echo Lake Lumber Mill. Whatever you're talking about isn't as important as what Bertha's got to say. We gotta get off the docks, Captain. If you give us some of those Acadian fog condensers, my friends are ready to homestead the lumber mill. Surviving is about more than taming fog. We gotta stay together, Bertha. But we're no good here. Harbormen need their own land, something to protect and hold. I was wrong about you. What? Not you. You. Bertha knows this island better than you, Avery. We give folks some condensers, materials, and a chance to build defenses. And we'll survive, all right? And thrive, even. For the price of a few condensers, you give people real hope. Sounds like a good deal to me. And even if they don't make it, they go out with their heads held high. Give them the fog condensers, Avery. Well, I won't stop you, but until we deal with the children of Adam, settling the island again, it could blow up in your face. Come, Bertha. You might want to check up on Echo Lake. Bertha's friends would no doubt welcome you. And take this. You never cease to amaze. Now you can have can Echo Lake shop, Lumber okay. as a settlement. Avery. It's hard to believe before you came here, all hope seemed lost. But now we've... We've taken back homesteads. People are finally coming together. And all of it, it, it's all because of you. I just wanted to help my friends. We don't deserve you. Sincerely. My people are so mired with their own concerns, I don't think they even realize that you saved us. All of us. Anything I give you or do for you, it, it just isn't enough. But take this, and thank you. Let's head out of Far Harbor. We're going to hang a left here. And then we're going to hang a right. Right here. And go southwest up this road.
We're heading over to where Dejin said the courser was. We're going to take out our second courser in the game. Might have some wolves over here, so just be aware. They have not spawned back, thankfully. Should be getting close. Locked on target. I don't think we're alone. I like to take out the trappers first. Just be careful of the cars. They tend to blow up at the most inopportune moments. There's that courser. Remember, they turn invisible pretty regularly. Like their main thing. Pretty annoying. They're like Nightkin, if you know what that is. You got guts. Well, had guts. I hate coursers. Ooh, that was scary. Thought I almost backed up into a car that would that was exploding. Okay, let's go ahead and go back over to Acadia. Gonna talk to Djin again, let him know that we took down the courser. Just because Dima trusts you doesn't mean the rest of us do. Hey, Dejan. Tell me you've got good news. Don't worry, the courser's dead. You're safe. That is good news. I know it was asking a lot, and I won't forget that you did it. If nothing else, you've earned yourself a discount. Thanks, friend. I legit thought his name was Dejan, but I guess it's Dejan. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Put our last point into endurance. Let's go ahead and head out of Acadia. And now we're going to go over to the Nucleus. May the divide bring you peace. They are doomed, brothers and sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy fog. Yet no matter how inevitable Adam's reign in this land may be, they deny it. Scoff at right. us behind their condensers. We'll say we get out of Kill here. our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the light no longer. After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. 
And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. We will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot. And with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Adam's Veil will roll down its streets. Holy Fog cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, it will be as heroes. A new day dawns, brothers and sisters. Glory to Atom! Glory to Atom! Ah. I'd heard whispers of a new convert. Welcome, brother. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? It's an honor, I confess, sir. I'm glad you feel as such. There are many who would squander Adam's grace. Let me ask you a question. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? I'd reach out to them. Try to make peace. Do you not believe we have tried? Sounds like peace would be better for everyone. This island is dangerous enough as it is. For years, my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now. Was there anything you required? I found this icon. The Grand Zealot said you'd be interested in seeing it. Is that the mother? So the whispers were true. You saw the mother of the fog. Many of Adam's children spend their whole lives wishing for such a boon. It would seem he expects great things from you, child. As will I. Now, was there anything else? Yeah, I'd like to help the family. Is there anything I can do? Eager. There is a member of our little community I've suspected for some time now. My own inquiries have proven fruitless. But your relative newness will likely make it easier for you to sniff out the truth. I would have you investigate this person. Should you find proof of any heresy or disloyalty, you're to bring it to me. So you can be trusted, and you'll be rewarded. Consider it done. Superb. Bring whatever you find directly to me. Here, the person in question. Leave no stone unturned. This is a chance to prove your value to Adam. Let's go ahead and read the note he just gave us. Ah, there you are. I have a job for you. I'm ready to serve, Grand Zealot. There is a woman, one of our own, or she was. Gwyneth, but she's given herself over to something dark. The Confessor ordered Zealot Field to track her down, but the heretic eluded her. Now Gwyneth has begun profaning our holy sites with her mad ravings, openly flouting the word of Adam. The High Confessor wants her found and executed. I'll find her, Grand Zealot. Good. Speak to Zealot Thiel. She should be able to point you towards Gwyneth's trail. Bring Adam's judgment to the heretic. Now go. We're gonna head down over here. 
Excuse me. Was wondering when I'd get to meet our newest member. I'm Sister Mai. And rumor has it, you're the one who caught the attention of the Mother of the Fog. You happen to catch the Grand Zealot's, uh, loyalty test too? Yeah, I saw it. Hmm. Look, it's a lesson worth learning now. Trust is a big deal in this family. Our members need to know how to steer clear of trouble. Just stay on the High Confessor's good side and you'll be all right. Now, there's something I can show you? And, uh, not sure if the glow bothers you, but I can help with scouring, too. Was wondering if there was anything you needed help with. Well, there is a project I'm kind of stuck on. I assume you saw the old rad decontamination arches on the way in. I've been trying to fix them for a while now, but I hit a snag. I need a pump regulator with some serious chemical shielding, industrial grade. And if any place on this island is going to have one, it's the Vimpop factory. The place is swarming with mutants, but if you're up for it, I can make it worth your while. You interested? All right. I'll track down the pump regulator for you. You will? Fantastic. I figure it'll probably be somewhere near the mixing room. Just watch yourself out there, all right? But you're here for supplies, right? Let's see what you got. Probably have something you can use. She'll sell us a pretty awesome piece of armor. This is the Recon Marine right arm. It increases our movement speed by 10%. So if you have that hat on that we got for the doing the captain's dance and this, you'll move 20% faster. Let's go ahead and buy it. And then we'll come over here. Talk to Sister Thiel. Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. What? <laughs> you? Saw the Mother of the... How did... I guess it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other Zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well, as I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange moods. She was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her, at least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. I'll find Sister Gwyneth. Then by Adam's grace. I hope that you will succeed where I did not. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. Let's go upstairs. Wait. You're the one they're saying saw the mother. Good omen. You looking for weapons? Ammo, plenty of gamma rounds. Let's see what you have. Oiled, clean, and deadly. He will sell us the Kiloton Radium Rifle. I absolutely love this because it will cause radiation damage to enemies and explosive damage. So we're going to go ahead and scoop this one up, and I'll upgrade that later on. And he'll also sell us another recon marine armor piece, but this is going to be the left arm. We'll grab that up. And now all we need to do is get the right leg and the oh chest piece. I thought he might have the left leg, but not, but he doesn't. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. All right, let's go ahead and buy all that and then exit out. Let's go downstairs. Blessings to the High Confessor, who will keep us safe on the path to... Division. Excuse me. Yeah? I mean, glory to... A Wait, you're the new convert. 
You happen to see Brother Devon, the sickly guy praying off by himself? Sure, I saw Devon. Why do you ask? See, Brother Devon, he's been on a fast, a long one. No food, only irradiated water, waiting for a sign from Adam. Most folks would say that's real admirable, giving yourself to Adam like that. What do you think? Sounds nuts to me. Adam above. Someone else. Look, me and Devon, we're... We weren't born with Adam's blessing like everyone else around here. Rads, they hurt us. Now Devon thinks fasting and refusing meds till he dies is gonna get Adam to grant him some kind of revelation or something. I've tried talking to him, but he won't listen to me anymore, and everyone else in this place thinks what he's doing is a brilliant idea. I... I know we don't know each other, but if you could convince him to quit, I'd owe you. Could give you some anti-rad meds I've cooked up. Recipe, too. Got some stuff in it that could come in handy, even for folks that don't mind rads. What do you say? Talk to him for me? Okay, sure. I'll talk to him. Oh, thank you. Please, just do it quick, all right? He's starting to look bad. Go talk to Devin. Oh, oh, our family has gotten a little bigger. Oh, please. Oh. Holy Adam. From this spot, I... I... Is that you? Oh, holy... Oh. I, I'm sorry, brother. I thought you were... Never mind. Did you need something? Zealot Ware asked me to speak to you. He's worried you're killing yourself. You need to stop. Getting others to do his dirty work now, is he? You can tell him I appreciate the concern, but I must stay. Adam came to me, and I must do as he commands. And what exactly did Adam command? That I need only wait for my saving grace. Jet has been my crutch for many years. One day, I was in the woods, polluting myself, when a figure strode from the sky before me. A verdant stag, wreathed in holy glow. It commanded me to return to the Nucleus, and to leave behind my iniquities, and give myself fully to Adam. For my dedication, Adam would send another messenger, who would free me from my shackles once and for all. That, brother, is why I must wait. I have good news! I am Adam's messenger, and I have come to free you from your shackles. Hiya! There! Now, uh, let's just keep this between us, okay? You're the... You're the messenger? The shackles are gone? They are, aren't they? Oh, thank you. Thank you, your brilliance. And don't fear, messenger. I will keep your secret. Oh, Adam above, thank you. I can't believe it. His messenger. Let's go talk to Ware now and let him know that we convinced Devin to Must stop fasting. To truly feel Adam's embrace. Where? You did it. Him. Adam above, you did it. Here, anytime I brew a new batch, you can have some. And if there's anything else I can do for you, you let me know. Didn't need anything at the moment. All right, then. Take care of yourself. We're gonna go all the way to the top. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're gonna end the video. I wanna start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.